People are like cities. We all have alleys and gardens and secret rooftops and places where daisies sprout between the sidewalk cracks. But most of the time, all we let each other see is a postcard glimpse of a skyline or a polished square. Love lets you find those hidden places in another person, even the ones they didn't know were there, even the ones they wouldn't have thought to call beautiful themselves. self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. Love never fails. From when we first met, you're showing me pictures of you and your family skiing when you were a little child. I can already tell that there was something special. Thinking about those pictures and the sh time we've already since shared, so many great memories together, including our first trip, which of course was skiing. But from those pictures, it also shared that you had a great, you came from a great family, one that has welcomed me with open arms, and I cannot be more grateful. As I look at back on our time together, I still cannot comprehend how lucky I am to have met you. There's a saying I once heard a while back that has stuck with me. Never marry the one you think you can live with. Marry the one you know you cannot live without. And these words do not even come close to describing how much you mean to me. You are my best friend, the one true love, and I promise to be the man I see, I see in your eyes today, tomorrow, and forever. 
Chad, I never believed in love at first sight until I met you. I remember the moment we met with such clarity and I know it was the most pure right thing I've ever felt. I've loved you every day since we first met and will continue to love you through the end of our days. I promise to be your best friend always in the good times and when times get rough. To share in every adventure, whether it be climbing a mountain or building a family. I promise to support you in your endeavors and to tackle all the obstacles that may come our way together as a team. I vow to always put our family first. And I know it will always be my greatest honor to share my life with you. I, Chad, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. To be my wife. In the presence of God, our family and friends, our family and friends I, offer I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner, to, be your faithful partner, to, have, and to, hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward for, better or for, worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish for, as long as both for as long as we both shall live. I, Elizabeth, take you, Chad, to be my husband. To be my husband. Of God, in the presence of God, our family and friends, our family and friends, I offer you, I offer you, my solemn vow, my solemn vow, to be your faithful partner, to be your faithful partner, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, for as long as we both shall live, for as long as we both shall live. I give you this ring, I give you this ring, as a symbol, as a symbol. Of as my love and commitment to live with you in marriage, to live with you in marriage from, this day forward, from this day forward. I give you this ring as a symbol, as a symbol of, my love and commitment, of my love and commitment to live with you in marriage, to live with you in marriage from, this day from this day forward. So Chad and Elizabeth, since you've pledged your marriage vows and exchanged rings before God and these gathered witnesses, as a minister uh, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It's my distinct honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chad and Elizabeth Redding. going back through photos and trying to figure out how to do all this and uh, really didn't come up with a lot of things but when I started going back and all the photos that you have hundreds or thousands of them you never look at I came across one and uh, she's probably uh, four or five years old and she was staring out over the water and she had this you know wonderful curious confident look and uh, even then her uh, beauty and her strength were uh, they showed through at a very, very early age, and uh, I love you, buddy. Always be honest with your partner. Always be best friends. Always allow each other room to grow and follow their passion. And this will allow you to both grow together. And if that doesn't work, just go back to saying yes, dear. <laughs> Not knowing what it was 
I will not give you up this time Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes you hold a mine Between my arms, barefoot on the grass, listening to our favorite song. When you said you looked to miss, I whispered underneath my breath that you heard it. Don't you look perfect now? Isn't it all?